Welcome into this place. God, you are welcome into this broken vessel. You desire to abide in the praises of your people. So we lift our hands as we lift our hearts, as we offer up this praise unto your name. Everybody say, well. Lord, everybody. Amen. I 
many know that God is good and his mercy endureth forever? Amen. Amen. We're living in some hard times now, going through different things that we never thought we'd go through. But we still have to put our faith and trust in God. Amen. Amen. Because he said he'd never leave us and he'd never forsake us. He'd be with us even to the ends of the world. Amen. So this is not a time now not to pray, not to fast, not to be at church, but it's a time to get close to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Because your adversary, the devil, he's busy. He's out there. He's trying to get everybody he can to go to that lake of fire with him. So in these last and evil days, let us draw nearer to God. Amen. Amen. Right now, we're going to go before the Lord in prayer. If there's anyone who has a spoken prayer request, you can stand now and let it be known or simply just by raising your hands. Amen. Remember Sister Priscilla Faraby in your prayers. I spoke with her, I think it was uh, yesterday or the day before. Uh, she's at home, but she said every move is just a struggle. Uh, she said she went to the Cleveland Clinic last Thursday and uh, they wouldn't actually wait on her because she hadn't taken a coronavirus test. So she, the doctor did speak with her and told her that he knew her situation and the valves that are leaking in her heart, he could, he could go in and he could fix it, but there's no guarantee that they would stop. And then he said the only other option would be open heart surgery, and she said she don't want that. And she's having problems with her lungs, so... She said, every move is just an exhausting move, so pray for her. And she told me to tell you, she needs your prayers, amen? Amen. And Sister Felicia, her grandson, is back home, amen? She said, thank you for praying for her. Deacon Fields? Nobody need anything, huh? Well, pray for me, because I sure need your prayers. Amen? Devil's busy at my house. Amen? Real busy. Amen? He's trying to turn me back. But you know what? I believe my God. I know I've been chosen. I know I've been called. So, you know, and when you know you're doing what's right. Amen? But the enemy is shrewd. Amen? So be careful. He's so shrewd and he's so quick. Amen? But the Holy Ghost is quicker. Amen? So let us stay in the presence of God. Amen? As long as we stay in the presence of God, we can do no wrong. Amen? Amen. If there are no other prayer requests, let us stand, please. I need your help. Just can't make it without your help. I need your help, just can't make it without your help. I have tried over and over again, but I just can't make it without your help.
every heart pray. Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. We come, Lord, once again to say thank you. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. We thank you, Lord, for being clothed in our right mind. We thank you, Lord, for all the little things we seem to take for granted sometimes, Lord. Life, health, food, shelter, clothing, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for making ways for us, Lord, where there seemed to be no way. We thank you, Lord, for being our shepherd, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus, knowing that we shall not want, hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for your grace, Lord. Had it not been for your grace, Lord, where would we be? Hallelujah. We thank you for your grace, Lord. We thank you for the brand new mercy that you gave us this morning, Lord Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that you'll help us, Lord. We need your help. Hallelujah. We can't make it without you, Lord. I know sometimes we think we can do it on our own, but we can't do it on our own, Lord. We need your help. Hallelujah. We ask you, Lord, that you'll help us, Lord, not to be weary in well-doing, but give us the patience we need, Lord, to wait on you. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we ask you that you'll help us, Lord. We know, Lord, that you said they that wait on you, we shall renew our strength. Help us, Lord, renew our strength. Create in us, Lord, clean hearts. Increase our faith, Lord. We ask you, Lord, that you'll bless us, Lord, in a mighty way. Hallelujah. Those that are suffering financially, Lord, make ways, Lord, where it seemed to be no way. Those that are suffering in their marriages, in their homes, Lord. Ask you, Lord, that you'll bless, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Those that are going through circumstances, Lord, hard times, Lord. We know, Lord, that you are the way. You are the truth and you are the light. Hallelujah. You are a lamp unto our feet, Lord, and a light to our path. Help us, Lord, to lean on you, Lord, not to lean to our own understanding. Hallelujah. Help us to walk worthy, Lord, of the vocation wherewith you have called us, O God. And help us to cleave to you, Lord, with all that's within us and with the purpose of heart. In the name of Jesus, we ask you, Lord, that you'll remember each and every prayer request. Remember Sister Priscilla, Lord, in a special way. Touch her body, Lord. We claim healing, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We know you're able to make a brand new, Lord, through and through. You're still in the miracle working business. And we're looking to the hills from which cometh our help. No other help we know, Lord. We're asking that you'll bless our service this morning.
The love of God's like a river is flowing. The love of God's like a river is flowing. Over my heart, over my life, I can feel it now. Can't you feel it now? The love of God's like a river is flowing. The love of God's like a river is flowing. Over my heart, over my life, I can feel it now. Can't you feel it now? Thank you, Jesus. Mm-hmm. 